Well, new at 10, pit bulls are allowed in Independence once again. Leaders made the decision just hours ago, repealing a ban nearly 17 years later. Mayor Ryman. Yes, ordinance passes. And the item is approved. Those two moments spanning nearly two decades. City leaders first banned the breed back in 2006 after pit bulls attacked a man, nearly killing him. Now the breed will be allowed back in the city by the end of the summer. KSHB 41's Megan Abundance was at tonight's meeting. She talked with neighbors about the decision and how it will impact local shelters. Everybody's done their part. For months and months, Independent City Hall staff heard many meetings, advocates in red, a ballot proposal, thousands of signatures, and people discussing their ideas on community safety to potentially change the ban on pit bulls. For the final time, Cody Atkinson found his seat in the chamber benches. Finally celebrate. <laughs> As the state director of the Humane Society USA, he took on changing Independence's law last year. No more study sessions. A meeting where he's long awaited the outcome. The city not cracking down on this anymore. It's just, I cannot imagine the relief. I've never seen uh, a city and a community come together like this. But to remove a specific breed, some aren't sure safeguards are in place. What is the cost to us if we have a serious illness or death? Is the city prepared for the legal and electoral repercussions? Two hours into the council meeting, they all got an answer. Five in favor, two opposed. Fantastic. I mean, it really just feels so good that we are going to be able to get these dogs into good homes out of the shelter right here in our community, uh, that folks are going to be able to walk their dog and not be worried that somebody is going to randomly report them, uh, that the city is going to knock on their door, that it's going to be a potential threat to remove a family member. The repeal will take effect August 4th. The city will then use these next 60 days to form the language surrounding the new ordinance. In Independence, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.